everyone. Thanks for joining me here at Music with Ryan. As you just saw and heard, I played through the tune Old Susanna, classic uh, American folk song. I did it in the key of G. And I created a, you know, advanced beginner arrangement, I would say, getting into more flat picking, um, getting into some different, sh or some more common shapes and patterns I would use to play some solos and some leads and improvise, perhaps. Um, so we, uh, st I still play, as you heard, you know, I still play the melody, you know, pretty straightforward, don't get too fancy, not many hammer-ons or pull-offs, but just some typical places on the neck that I play. <laughs> there all the time in this little area and you'll find many other um, players are there too and that's kind of one of the first areas I kind of begun to improvise and, and learn to play melody that melodies out of that what kind of out of first position so anyway if you like what you see and you'd like to purchase the full length version um, as this is just a preview here on YouTube you head on over to my website click the link in the box down below and I'll take you right to the lesson and it'll come with about 25, 28 minutes of video, PDF tabs, three backing tracks, and I'll also include a rhythm lesson. Um, you know, this song's fairly basic, but I wanted to include uh, my rhythm playing, maybe a few things you can do to spice up your, uh, yeah, your rhythm playing. So check that out. And if you like the way I teach and approach learning guitar, please check out all the other instructional material I have over there. I add a lesson every week, so always check back. Um, check out being a member and have access to everything I create, my beginner course, my rhythm series, all that stuff over there. Hours and hours of uh, lessons, over 100 different lessons. So give that a look. For now, we're gonna go ahead and start walking through this one. Uh, first few measures, close-ups to the left and right hand here. Um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. All right, so let's break down this uh, arrangement for O Susanna here in the key of G. And for those of you that are kind of new to my videos or beginners here and learning to read the tab and such, um, just real, a few things real quick. So the markings on the bottom of the staff are the pick directions, okay? So super important to follow those pick directions to have good timing. Um, and so the staple looking um, symbol, which is like underneath the first note, is a downstroke. And then the V looking symbol underneath the second note is an upstroke. Okay, so down for the staple thing, up for the V looking shape. Okay, so down up. Really keep those in... Um, you know, keep those situated in your head and in your right hand. And then second, uh, the first three markings there are just quarter note rests. Those, that's all the means there. And so it gets one count and it shows then that we have a pickup on beat four, four and getting into the melody here. Um, and so if we have two notes beamed together, they're called eighth notes, okay? And those require a down up and we'll get more into that a little bit. If it just has a stem by itself, so it's a dotted, or it's a quarter note or a dotted quarter note. And we'll go over that as we get going here. But just in general, those pick directions. And um, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So let's play the first three and a half measures here. And then we'll break it down and we'll talk more in detail. So it sounds something like this. Um, one, two, three. So, um, like I mentioned there, the first couple notes, uh, we have two eighth notes, okay? It's four and. So four and, so zero on the G, second fret on the G. And then we take that second finger that we're gonna use and we're gonna slide up to the fourth fret. Okay? Four and one, and then we have a quarter note there. One, then third fret, of the B string, and that is, I'm gonna use that with my first finger. So that second measure, one, two, three, four, and, so it's quarter, quarter, and then a dotted quarter. So excuse me, um, a dotted quarter gets a beat and a half. It gets one and a half counts, okay? 
it's kind of like adding an extra eighth note onto it. And that's exactly what it's doing. So you're going to count four, and then you're going to pick on the upstroke on the fifth fret of the E string. So here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. And just a slight hesitation again when we deal with dotted rhythms or tied rhythms we have a little bit of what's known as syncopation so we're playing a little bit on the offbeat right there one two three four and and so again dotted beat dotted quarter note has a value of one and a half counts okay You don't have to leave this note pressed down. Um, sometimes I like to do that. But um, I kind of want to bring this note forward a little bit more. So I clip it off and I just simply take it off the fretboard. Um, that that could, could, could be up to you. It's not the end of the world either way. And then going on, go back to the third fret. So we got some quarter notes here. And then open G string. And then we gotta kind of shift back down zero two. Because I want to catch it with my second finger. So just all that again. slide down with my second finger here and then open G you got two eighth notes here but I want to catch my third finger this time on the fourth fret so last note line I gotta do a little shift because I'm gonna get down to my D down to my D chord so I want to uh, just get a different get ready for a different position there second finger here second finger and then third finger one two three four and I'm sorry I'm sorry um one two three four and one two three it could be a couple other ways to finger perhaps I found for this arrangement I think this is the most efficient um, could totally do that that would that would also work too the only difference that I chose to do it yep you could use your first finger here but I wanted to slide in to the fourth fret and down to the fourth fret just to give it a little more you know expressive expressiveness a little more feeling I wanted that slide But you can use one and three as well. And that would totally work and be good and be efficient. But that's not that's not bad either. That's good. And I, again, I wanted that slide. That's why um, I chose to finger it like that. So you can kind of decide a little bit. Um, so I'm going to play all... Th all those measures again, a little more in context now. So let's give it a try. One, two, three. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. 